It's a bird, it's a plane, no, it's a whole bunch of DC TV shows coming your way. Hey everybody, welcome to Screen Rant, I'm Greg Elliott, and the list of upcoming TV shows based in the DC Universe keeps getting bigger and bigger. The CW, HBO Max, and DC Universe all have new projects in the pipeline, so to help you keep track, we're here to lay them all out for you. DC Universe's first original animated series is Harley Quinn, premiering in November 2019. It might be a cartoon, but it is loaded with violence and explicit language, so this one is definitely not for the kids. Kaylee Cuoco is voicing Miss Quinn, and it'll follow Harley as she tries to fulfill her dream of becoming a member of the Legion of Doom. The series will include a lot of Batman villains and even the Cape Crusader himself. Set to debut on DC Universe in early 2020 is Stargirl. Stargirl, or Courtney Whitmore, first appeared in Stars in STRIPE No. 0 in 1999, and she's a high school student who finds out her stepdad was a sidekick to an actual superhero. Stargirl has appeared before on TV, but this is the first time she'll have her own series, and the show will also feature a few members of the Justice Society of America, including Starman, Dr. Midnight, Hourman, and more. And have you heard there's going to be a new Superman show? Yep, a Superman and Lois Arrowverse spinoff is now in the works at the CW, with Tyler Hecklin and Elizabeth Tullock set to reprise their roles. It's still in its early stages, but we'll get to see them first in the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover, which will introduce their kid, and we know that the series will focus on Lois and Clark as they deal with all the stresses and pressures, being working parents in today's society, as well as, you know, one of them being a superhero. Just normal everyday stuff, you know? And speaking of the Arrowverse, Arrow is ending after its eighth season and will be replaced by Green Arrow and the Canaries, a spinoff that will follow Oliver's daughter Mia, who is introduced in the Flash Forwards in Season 7, as she follows in her father's footsteps to become the next Green Arrow. She'll be joined by two other members of the Arrow cast, Earth 2's Laurel Lance and Dinah Drake, and the show should launch in the 2020-2021 season. In addition to a new Green Arrow, we're also going to be getting Green Lantern's first TV show, which is being developed for HBO Max. You might remember that a Green Lantern reboot movie was originally planned as part of DCU's extended universe, but that got canned after Justice League didn't pan out as well as they'd hoped. There's not much info out on this yet, but producer Greg Berlanti has said that it's going to, quote, be the biggest DC show ever made. HBO Max will also be home to DC Superhero High, a half-hour show produced by Elizabeth Banks about a group of superpowered students attending a boarding school for gifted kids, as well as Strange Adventures, a DC anthology series featuring characters from all across the DC universe, which will explore, quote, close-ended morality tales about the intersecting lives of mortals and superhumans in single-episode stories. And then we've got Bizarro TV, which should be launching on DC Universe sometime in 2020. It's another anthology-type series, which gets its name from the Superman villain Bizarro, and it will somehow combine live action action, animation, and puppets, which sounds pretty crazy, and it kind of looks to be DC's answer to Marvel's What If show. But while What If will be riffing on stories fans already know and love, Bizarro TV will forego the better-known DC superheroes in favor of highlighting some of the strangest and most obscure characters in DC comics, such as Slam Bradley, Creeper, Ambush Bug, and Space Caddy. Me am not excited for this one. So there you go, as you can see, DC's got a ton of stuff coming to the small screen in addition to their films like Wonder Woman 1984, Birds of Prey, and The Batman. Make sure to keep coming back to Screen Rant to stay in the loop on all these shows, and thanks for watching, guys. I'm Greg Elliott, and I'll see you next time. Peace.